uh, NVIDIA. They say that crypto business is dead. That's important. Mm. Okay? Crypto business dead. They were big into it. Mm -hmm. Joining us now is Patrick statement. Byrne. He's Overstock.com CEO and a frequent guest on the program. Welcome back, Patrick. Good to see you. Stuart, always an honor to be on. Thank you. I remember, I don't know when it was, not too long ago, you put Overstock into the blockchain business, the underlying technology beneath the bitcoins of this world. And no, now, four, four now and you've got NVIDIA ago. saying, hey, we're walking away from this crypto business. It's not working for us. What say you? No. Oh, there's a bunch of different confusion going on. The main event to understand is there's this new technology called blockchain. That is under these different crypto businesses, whether it's Bitcoin or whatever. The underlying technology is called blockchain. It's based on cryptography. That technology is more important than the Internet. That's going to change Wall Street. That's going to change the way money and banking the work, the way land titling work, the way health records work. That underlying technology is going to change things more than the Internet did. Well, what certain currencies do, who the, he who the heck knows? That's all but, just but a bunch of speculation it, and but not when, nonsense. When you made that announcement, it wasn't an announcement, but you said it on this program. I think Overstock, the stock, your stock itself, was up, it was around 70 nearly $80 a share. <laughs> but it's not now. I mean, it's, it's way down. Well, a year, what happened? I think, a, I think about a year ago we were 10 or 15 and what's happened is we've become so associated with Bitcoin that whatever it does, it turns out, I, I che last time I checked, about 92% of the daily volatility in our stock is explained by Bitcoin. Message to public, we aren't Bitcoin. We don't have any Bitcoin. We have a little tiny bit of Bitcoin. Don't bet on us because you're trying to, it's a proxy for Bitcoin. But for some reason, the market over a year, our, our fluctuations move with Bitcoin. It's the silliest thing I've ever heard. So what are you doing with blockchain to develop it as a technology that's more important than the Internet? Uh, sure. We're applying it to Wall Street. We've created a company called T0 that applies this thing to Wall Street and is creating a version of Wall Street that can't be cheated. We have made a formal joint venture announcement with the Boston Options Exchange, Box to make the world's, well, the first national exchange. I've been all over the world in the last quarter. It's 20 countries who want what it is we have developed. They're saying, get it live in America, and if the SEC approves it, if the SEC is letting you do it, we want it. Okay. The whole world's coming to our, beating a path to our door with this. Okay, one last one. President Trump is suggesting that maybe we go to financial reports from public companies like your own every six months instead of every three months. Where do you stand on that? Well, you know, he's actually addressing a, uh, Buffett and Jamie Dimon brought this up in a June article in Fortune. The focus on, sh on quarterly earnings and quarterly earnings guidance, especially by companies, really creates a lot of pathological incentives. Uh, Buffett and Dimon are saying you fix it by you don't give guidance anymore. Trump is saying you fix it by you go to six-month earnings. It's kind of funny. The only guy I've ever seen say that is Noam Chomsky. He thinks we should go last I he thinks we should go to annual earnings. But actually, they're all addressing the same problem. And it is, it is not good for corporate America that people get focused on quarterly earnings and adjusting and playing games, just trying to keep, keep short-sighted. America needs some long-term business thinking. So you'd be okay with every six months? I'd be okay with every six months, or I'd be okay just getting rid of guidance. Uh, or getting rid of guidance. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> that's a well, big Well, that's what step. Buffett wants. That's what yeah. Buffett wants. Tell you the bigger thing that Trump, that Trump could do is on trade. Look up an article from Buffett in 2003 in Fortune on the trade deficit. Buffett is more Trump than Trump when it comes to trade. He's proposed a brilliant plan that some economists have picked up. What Trump should really retreat is Buffett's plan on trade. It's more Trump than Trump. More Trump than Trump. My, that would be yeah. something now, wouldn't it? wonder how that would go down in America. Trump squared. Okay. <laughs> Trump squared, that's right. Uh, Patrick Byrne, Overstock.com. Mm. Thanks for joining us, sir. We'll see you again soon. Promise. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Stuart.